pieces of, of you, of your history, that, that you're sort of mining for, for laughs or, or for not, I mean, for more serious? One of my oldest friends, Raul Castillo, he's an actor, I, um, we worked on looking together, and I put him on the season, and um, he wanted a tattoo of Adelita, which is his mother's name, on the thing, and then when it was time to write his mother it has to be named Madelita. So like, it was this meta thing. I've known this guy since we were 14. We went to high school, college together. He's on my show now. And I'm casting his mother too. That was, I, and I was like trying to get as close as I could without like, you know? And it, But yeah, so like, it's very meta. Did you read his mom for it? No? Not a possibility? No. <laughs> I Her quote was too high. <laughs> yeah. 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 Can't can't TV. Yeah. <laughs> what did the sort of, the network versions of your show look like? The sex would be just, I don't know if the sex would be there, especially the way we do it, you know? Um, it would be that and more like, Latinx. I feel like sometimes uh, mainstream Latinx shows have to be the most Latinx, you know? Oh, interesting. And it, it steeps itself in drama, but it's not a dramedy. You know, I don't know what it is. Uh, it's comedy, I guess. Um, but <laughs> but, it, but it, it, it probably would be funnier with more, like, jokes about our identity. It feels like, you know? But, like, we, we don't do any of that. The I mean, insert punchline here. Yeah, insert punchline about identity, because the show is very much oh. steeped in identity, but because right now that's sort of what we've been allowed, you know, and when it sure. comes to comedy about Latinx, like we've been allowed identity mm -hmm. theme stuff, yeah. you know? I can't wait to get past that, yeah, you know? That. But we yeah. don't have enough shows, Latinx yeah. theme shows on, on television, you know, for that yet. Severe mm -hmm. underrepresentation, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. When was the last time you guys were completely wrong about viewers' sort of response to a scene, a character, um, something in your show? Unexpected. It wasn't so, it's lighter than this, but it, um, I didn't know that. Uh, so we made a character have a taco, like just eat a taco, like a white girl on purpose. <laughs> what does that mean? Like a sandwich. Ah, okay. And oh my God, Twitter, it was like, this show does not, how, I would never eat a taco. It was like, it became this thing. Well, this show, they don't even know how to eat tacos in this show. <laughs> it's not a legit Latina show. And it was like yeah. a choice because this girl's coming back. She's like, got bougie in Chicago. And she's like, <laughs> she's just like putting anything in the taco. And she races it to her. And it cost, and it was like, now we're, we have to deal with it in season two, why she eats tacos like that. But like, it was so unexpected. We couldn't shake it. Like the <laughs> stigma of like, the show does not know. How dare How you? How dare you, you eat a taco like a sandwich, you know? I feel like I'm never gonna eat a taco in public. <laughs> <laughs> you come sort of to it. You come to it. You can't, it's not a sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> I've never had a taco, so. Never. <laughs> See, we're learning here, guys. <laughs> what do we have for lunch? <laughs> we can do a tutorial. <laughs> When was the last time, as you guys were writing, that you or your collaborators were a little nervous? Just for the things you're gonna tackle. Stars pitched me the show. They just said, we want a show about gentrification, not gentrification, but gentrification of a Latinx space by another upwardly mobile Latinx. Um, East LA, millennial, female. And then after that, that was it. The, the, the you go. know, go. That um, looks like the trending page on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. It was like, do this. Um, so that was I put, every word. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I put the queerness in there to have a, you know, a bit of me. I put um, brujas because I practice brujería. <laughs> I practice witchcraft. Like I was like, how am I gonna get in here? You know. Um, the queerness, then we wanted to do it right. And there was this one scene, first season, that a non-binary person and a femme top are having sex. That already is, we haven't seen that, right? The responsibility was felt so hardcore, you know? Cause like, it was like, we've never seen that. And also we've never seen brown queers do that. It was workshop to death. Like you see writers, hanging onto the door frame, being like, see, she could get eaten this way. And she could, sorry, I didn't say that. She could, like, everybody was just like, no, oh, no, we could, like, whatever. It was, uh, and then who we cast was so important. The person needs to be gender non-conforming to, like, all, all of it was so, but then it turned out fine. Hi, I'm Tania Saracho. Hi, I'm Alan Yang. I'm Allie Rushfield. Hi, I'm Bill Hader, and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching The Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter Roundtables. Roundtable on YouTube. On YouTube. Hi, everyone on YouTube. <laughs>